What is up guys? Welcome to a brand new series of my games, Tycoon 2. This is actually season two. I think that's what I'm gonna end up calling it of this let's play. So I ended up making an entire another let's play on this channel. If you guys have watched it, I think it's like 30 somewhat episodes. But since that initial release, they have done so many updates to this game. And the biggest problem is that some of the updates don't apply to old saves. It's kind of weird. So I'm actually gonna start brand new with you guys. We're gonna kind of go through, have some fun. I'm not sure how long the series will be. It'll be dependent on how much you guys enjoy the content, how many likes, comments, and shares this series kind of gets. But I will of course do a minimum of 10 episodes. Like all my series is always five or 10 episodes, usually 10. It depends on if the game's really small or not, but this will definitely be a minimum of, uh, uh, of 10 episodes. And then we'll kind of go from there. I'm going to do a brand new save. We're not going to worry about the old one. Just kind of hopping into season two of this. So let's make it happen. I have seen the crazy demand for it. I'm going to keep the same name party. We'll change up the logo here. Um, the logo that I like a King is where we're part of the VIPs, you know? Uh, a special genre. I oh, I went with skill games last time. Really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. Um, I, I'm trying to think of what I really like playing. And economic simulation is kind of what I like to do. But maybe strategy. Obviously USA. Uh, we'll leave it at medium. Uh, start year the earliest it can be. Uh, normal speed. Should we speed it up? What's it say about speed? The lower the speed, the more tasks your employees can complete in a week. This makes the game easier. I almost want to go fast just because I don't want this series to take ages. I think I'm going to go fast. I'm pretty confident in how, how good I am at the game. And we'll leave the number of competitors untouched. And uh, let's make it happen. So let's go. I'm, I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. Thank you guys so much for tuning on in. Let's make it happen. So Josh... Uh, I really don't care if I recall correctly. We barely even use Josh, but um, because I remember these things, we're going to go through this a little bit in more detail. Uh, there I am. Cool. Give me some hair, please. I just don't want to be a bald man. And then, uh, I don't know, a little tan and hair color. Can we just get like, yeah, make me gray. That's fine. Okay. And now what's important here is... I have to decide what I want to do. And if I recall correctly, game designer is a good start. And then we just put all points into game design. You don't actually want to separate yourself because you don't do many of the other tasks. Making yourself evenly distributed is actually dumb. So don't do it. And then you does not lose motivation. Can you just, but you just pick, okay. You can pick up the five. Okay. Um, star designers create hype. Yes. We want that. Uh, inexhaustible, don't need breaks, sure. Error free, don't care about bugs. We always work on those. Talent employees learn faster, don't, won't be doing much learning. Uh, critical work results occur significantly more frequently. I actually don't know what that means. Uh, oh wait, yes I do. Yeah, yeah, we want that. Uh, movement speed is increased, doesn't matter. Not make, actually, we should get that and this. And then he doesn't need to get up. So this is never sick. And that means he needs to walk over to the uh, first aid kit. And then bathroom, obviously he needs to get up and use bathroom. Let's make him not need to use bathroom. I think leadership isn't important though. No, leadership's not that important. Uh, the limit of the secondary abilities is increasing. Efficiency. Workaholic, the employees completes contracts work faster. We don't do too many contract works. We kind of do those as we work on other things. An employee. Generates tech points. I don't remember that being important. And then generate a higher graphic on retro games. Okay. Uh, cool. I'm in. All right. Uh, new game. Disable tutorial. Ran I'm going to disable the tutorial. Random platform popularity. Random game concept. Increased. Random factor for re reviews. Can we leave all that alone? No random events. Obviously, we want random events. And we want historic events. We're just going to disable the tutorial. And I'm just going to kind of wing it here. Thank you for purchasing the game. Okay, cool. So first things first, pause this. Uh, he needs a job. So we're going to obviously do the most basic stuff here, which is just get a development studio. Doesn't matter how big, it'd just be here. It's missing a door. Yes, sir. Let's hit that check. And if I recall, this is going to be, we just said it's going to be the development studio. It's been a 
So hopefully I remember all the controls. All right, cool. And then you go development. That, where does it tell you? Here, game designer, programmer, graphic artist, and sound artist. So we're just gonna put him in here, of course. So drag him, boom, he's working. The things that we need is the heater and all that stuff. So let's let's make that happen. Uh, I always do that wrong. It's actually here, and then you click here. Scroll down. It's gonna give him a heater. And we can see all those maps down here. He also needs a trash can, water dispenser. You can just put over here, rotate this back. He's also gonna need a trash can. You hold on shift, is it? Or control? No, where's the snapping? Gorgeous medical, of course. That. And we're going to need a bathroom, which we can get right over here. This would be too big, but that's okay. Who cares? We, we can adjust it later on. I believe the toilets are like ginormous for some reason. Uh, give me that snapping back. They need heaters in every single room. I'm gonna get them a wash. Just wash the hands. Good. Awesome. And they even need heaters out here. So we're gonna get a heater out here so it doesn't freeze. Can we sell this? $20,000, give me that money. And last but not least, a lounge which I actually found people don't use all that often, but you need one just to make sure people are happy. We keep it on this side so everyone walks down this corridor here. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's do this instead. I want to do this. Oh, you can't do a... Uh... That's fine. I don't want to... Uh... I want a two aisle down this way. Check. And then in here, it doesn't really matter what's in here. They really give you 300000 to start? Jeez, Louise. I didn't even realize it was that much money. Um, none of this matters. But we do need a heater in here. Otherwise, it's going to be cold. And they actually care about interior design, if I recall correctly. So we have to do stuff. I remember last time we just did all the trophies as interior design, but I think posters also does the trick. Let me look. Heat's fine in all the rooms. Good. Our quality of the offices. Yeah, so now we have to get these posters and make sure everyone's happy. This is a little like, I don't want to, it's not cheat, but a little little hack uh, was to get, I think hack and cheat are synonyms. So I'm not sure why hack would be any better than cheat, but it's, it's what we end up doing to try and boost these areas. Last time we ended up just putting out CDs everywhere, which we will unlock eventually, but we just don't have them right now. Um, cool. And then go back to the development and we're just going to grab a few more items here because I'm going to get a few more people in this room. As long as everyone can access their tables, which four people is enough. Great. Exit out of that. Grab this. And now we're going to go to the job market and we only buy people who fit this, which is programmers. Good. Graphic designers good, don't want either of those. So we're gonna hire both these, put them in here. And now we're gonna develop something. So our first thing should probably just be a basic game. This is new. Oh, they had a mobile game since I last played, gotcha. Uh, cool, we're gonna just give me any random name. Main genre, adventure, side. Currently crocodiles are on the decline. Adventure police. That'll be hot in today's market, I bet. Standard game. Once you can unlock MMOs, man, it's just OP. But for now, we can just do that. Uh, cool. No licenses, because we can't afford them. We can just use a basic uh, basic platform. And which one has more market share? They both have 100%. That's weird. I think this one says 1.6 million versus 0.2 million. So we're going to do that one. Uh, can't do anything with the graphics. 
enable all languages, though it's gonna cost us money. I'm in. This is where I don't know crap. So I'm gonna leave everything alone and then we're just gonna have to research it later on. They fix these names, that's good. We take both, always. This doesn't matter. All right, let's hope they can build something nice here. So everyone's working on their thing. We should get a, what are the other groups can we build right now? Research? So we can get research to help us kind of develop new, I should leave limp. Um, cool, nice little boost there. Get some research, I guess, or we should get research. This is gonna be way too small. I'm gonna have to end up moving them into a larger room after the fact, but for now, this will do. And we can actually just speed it up. Uh, continue the development until we remove every bug. Otherwise, the game gets, people get mad. Thank you guys so much for tuning on into the series again. I actually loved this game when it originally came out and I've been playing it quite a bit. We ended up logging a lot of hours on the last version, as you guys know. No hype around it, which is okay. Not much we can do, but we can finish the development and we're gonna be working with a publisher. Pick the adventure guy with the three. Great. Cool, cool. Poorly rated, what do you expect? And there's nothing we can even do about it. So. Updates and add-ons. You can actually give updates to games right now? In some reason, I felt like that was an unlock, but I guess not. Uh, we should just develop another game real quick. Cool. Uh, adventure. I say we do exactly the same thing. No, nah, we'll just switch up a little bit there. Uh, engine, the same engine until we unlock newer engines. We, if we do all the same thing, we'll actually be better this time because we've unlocked stuff and we started building up our levels. I, I won't know if any of this is good for a while, um, unfortunately. I think, you just think adventure, I think a longer game length. I think a less beginner friendly. Mission design less, but story more. It's an adventure game. We'll make it more for the core gamers. Oh, that's cool. Look at how that works. I've never, that's new. So now based on where you place it is the rating it'll get. Okay, okay, okay. And then I guess okay, make it a little harder than that. Both. Yeah, we have to get research going. So let's build out a research crew real quick. Now here's gonna be my issue. Just because I've played this before, I know I'm gonna try and grow as quick as physically possible, which I'm gonna regret so much. I just see it happen. And you guys are gonna be like, Josh, you can't afford all that. I'm gonna have to somehow make excuses for my lack of knowledge. I'm just gonna be so like greedy to try and grow. Especially with all this research. If I remember correctly, research was utterly useless. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is actually like the worst thing I could do, but that's okay. What are you going to do? I don't know. Research actually was not useless initially. It just, it ends up being useless because I unlocked everything and I, because I played it for so long. But um, what I'm just worried about is, no, no, no. We need a water dispenser, a medical and put it over here. Dang windows. And then we need a heater, otherwise they're gonna be cold. I'm not sure how many heaters we need in this small room. Probably two would do. Can we put one by this door? Hold up, can we delete that door? I bet you we can, right? No? Yeah, that room's gonna be cold. Yeah, that room's cold. I have to get them another heater. One second. Let's see if we can find another another heater. By the way, guys, unfortunately, this is this, this doesn't have much impact on you guys at this point, but I was going to stream today and I could not figure out how to stream on YouTube and it's my own issue. I haven't done it in forever. I, I only streamed on Twitch like my entire streaming career. And I was gonna stream on YouTube today and start up the series and do like three hours of just gameplay, but ended up falling through the cracks due to my lack of knowledge. In the future though, uh, I'd like to start streaming a little bit on YouTube. I just was having issues transferring over all my old settings. I was worried about deleting my, 
current settings for my channel. Well, that's unfortunate. Hopefully that game makes money. I'm not sure if it'll even be profitable. No, no, continue development. Until we knock out all those bugs. And then we can also look at hiring more people. Go look at that job market. So we can hire a untalented. Oh, thing. oh researcher. Nice. Untalented again? I'll hire one researcher. And then we can hire one more person for this room. Um, I think it's, who's the most expensive? You are? And you're a game designer. Cool. I'll hire you. Welcome to the team. And then I can sign these people to kind of research stuff. I just don't know what I want to research yet. What's miscellaneous? Larger games, council development. Wow, that's expensive. It's really not that much. It's just, it's expensive right now, of course, but in the future, it's not that pricey. Um, genres. I just want to maybe research all these. Hopefully you can just knock that out quick. Oh crap. That's going to end up being a lot of money. Looks like we're going to be profitable on that bad boy, I think. Our first game ever. Woo. You know what? Stop after that. Yeah, and the automation after that. That, was, that wasn't a good choice. We're like better level design. Ooh, I think I lowered level design. Pretty sure. Sure, lowered level design on this one. No, what am I doing? You know, instead of developing our second game, the Dark Syndic Syndicate. Gorgeous. Uh, development report. Oh, doesn't really tell you. Current estimated rating. Interesting. I always wonder if I should let people keep developing after the fact. And I always decide on no. And maybe no is the wrong answer, but your boy's still going to say no and find a publisher for this. And it's another adventure game. We could stick with our same developer and start building a relationship, which is probably a good idea. And look at that. Look, look. Those are plus points. We're going to be even better this time. And a 55. Nice. And then uh, we could develop a new engine, though. I don't think developing a new engine makes sense right now. I'll tell you why we have yet to unlock anything for it. So probably just making another game. How much is this next place? Five million? Probably just making another game. I know. Gosh, you're just rushing games. Yeah, I agree. What's that 54? People who want to solve challenging puzzles don't like action are in good hands with this genre. Solving logical puzzles, no excessive violence, and narrative gameplay characterized in this genre. Oh. Is this popular? Shows how many games with this theme are in the market. Oh my god. That's so cool. I'm actually pretty pumped to be playing this, man. That's really cool. Okay. So they actually changed a lot of this. Um, what else did they say about this? No excessive violence, narrative gameplay. Okay. So let's actually bring this down to like teens. And I think that's probably heading in the right direction. Main platform, we're gonna pick the 2.5 million. Of course, we're just gonna pick the most basic engine. Um, all those stay the same, nothing changed there, nothing changed there. And then they said no excessive violence. So if we reduce the, I'm assuming core gamers is probably the way to do it. And then like we can make it hard. I didn't, what else did they say about the genre of action? No excessive violence. Narrative gameplay. Characterized. Narrative gameplay. So we also want to make sure we have narrative. It's probably like story. So we want to probably boost that. And then like beginner friendliness, we can probably lower a little bit. And maybe innovation. And then we can try that. Which now it's a little harder. It's not violent. We're going to leave this alone. Though, if we look at old reports, hold up, sorry guys, I know this is not the, <laughs> it's probably not the way you want to watch, but this is the way I should be doing it. So if we click on something like this, we can see, so this was just us shooting in the dark, by the way, um, but it'll tell us up here where the, where does it tell us? 
doesn't tell us. It definitely said it. I just don't know where it said it. Up here? Okay, so sound needs to be better. Sound needs to be a lot better. Okay, so we can lower gameplay here. And then we need to really improve on sound. And maybe lower this and upgrade that. I mean, shoot, shoot for that. Yeah, 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 we're gonna do both. And now that's that might be a more accurate representation of what's popular, I'm hoping. And we should have this guy researching more things. I'm just worried that he's gonna make me spend all my money. To be honest. Uh whoa, wait, what the heck's this? Is this the game I just made? Continue development. I feel like I just started that game like two seconds ago. How'd you finish it so quickly? What did I do wrong? Yeah, I lost a little bit of money there. Hmm. Look at that profitability, though. We're starting to make some money here. There's some hype behind them. Should we do game add-ons? Is add-ons worth it at this point? Genres? Racing's popular right now. Yeah, research racing. Ooh! Dude. Do a large booth. Don't... Don't make me regret this. This is like all my money for the large booth, man. But your boy's got to do it. Your boy's got to make it happen. We have to start somewhere. And I think stretching ourselves a little thin. I'm, I'm following in Kurt Schilling's kind of way. You guys probably don't get the reference. Here in Rhode Island, we had a, uh, a old MLB pitcher, Kurt Schilling from, uh, from the Red Sox open up a game studio he released kingdom was of Am amalon i think was the name of the game if you guys have ever seen it it's kind of like a like a skyrim knockoff and he ended up almost making our state go bankrupt <laughs> because he just he took out these huge loans saying he was going to create jobs and then didn't create any jobs and almost made us go bankrupt but yeah anyways that's the point i'm just going to spend all my money and just hope i don't go bankrupt uh i see we finished the development now that we hit all the marks you did a big, like, extravagant. I, that's not even a freaking word. We did this huge booth, and we're going to make it happen. Um, we have to pick a publisher. We're in an adventure. We already are friends with these guys, so I'm going to stick with those guys because you, you stick with the people you know. 60. Ooh, we almost got there, though. Those were a lot better than where they were. Still not great, but you know what? We deal. We deal. Hopefully that ends up being a positive experience. We could hire more researchers. Um, really, what I'm worried about hiring with researchers is... I almost want to... Can I expand on... I really don't have room to expand on that. I regret making that space so small, and I knew I was going to. Is there a way I can make this larger somehow? Like... Oh, wait, hold up. I have an entire another slot here. Okay, wait. Let me let me see if we can make this happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. Oh. Wait, does it not let you put? I hate that the stars are still on. Can't put stuff there. Gotcha. Noted. Um. Hmm. Tight. It's tight. What if I shrunk the bathroom? Yeah, I know. One second. I gotta. I'm messing around with this. I'm gonna mess around with this for a minute. Uh, let me grab stuff. You don't want me to grab stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The heater needs it. It can go in like this corner or something. Is that room still warm enough? Yep. And right, now I'm gonna back this up. This like over in the in the corner as well. And then I say we shrink this bathroom. So. Oh, don't do that. Sorry. Um, trying to figure out how the best way to shrink this bathroom is. Uh, oh, you still need the door. Let's put the door there and hit check. To make me move some stuff and exit out. Cool. Is that another slot there? No. Okay, this is going to be just a really small bathroom now. I swear my work had a bathroom like this. It was like... 
it was such a weird bathroom. So it was too big to be a single person bathroom, like way too big. It was also too small to have two people. It would be a tight two person bathroom, you know? It was kind of a weird bathroom. I gotta be honest, it was an odd bathroom. But I loved it because back when we had our office uh, for my actual, my current job, that is, um, it was very roomy. And I used to enjoy the extra space in the bathroom, you know? You kind of get some extra room. You get some extra space to do whatever you got to do in the bathroom, you know? No one's there to bother you. You're kind of just hanging out. You're taking in the taking in the scenery. It was pretty nice, man. I, I really liked it. I can't complain. I do miss my office, to be honest. We, uh, since going remote, we have gone remote. Um, since COVID, we have gone remote, unfortunately. But it was definitely... And the office, we just had so much fun in our office. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to get more things in here, but this room is it's a little tight. I need to figure out how to move stuff around better. Give me a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this now. Okay, we moved that. Now if we move this heater, like over here, we then move this desk over on top of you. Good. Now then, here. Click. Furniture. Everything's up to date. Now what I meant. Click this. I know. Then that shows up. Don't care. Good. A little tight over here. A little tight. How do we... How do we better accommodate that? Escape. Grab it. Put it next to you. Unsnap that bad Larry. Good. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. This is exactly what we had to do. And now, six people can fit in here. I could even... I, I'm going to do it. I don't care how tight this room is. As long as everyone can navigate, like I'm in. And now we have seven desks, which it's an ugly seven desks, but I bet you that place is warm and cozy. It is fabulous. Now then, we can hire a new programmer. Game designer. All right, guys, I have to wrap this bad boy up. Thank you everyone so much for watching and for the content. If you guys enjoyed it, please consider looking down below and hit that spicy subscribe button. I'm going to have more content of this up ASAP, but obviously depending on how well this does is depending on how long and how in-depth this series goes. Background two, season two. Thank you guys so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. I will catch you all in a future episode. I'll see you guys.